Welcome to this series where we are taking a first look at the realistic mode for workers and resources Soviet Republic. We're picking up on the 5th of November 1960. Now my original plan for this video was to carry on working on this city centre through the winter but I've had a bit of a rethink because if you follow the channel you'll be aware that I recently published a an overview video for a mod that gives you a construction battalion and the more I think about it the more I feel like I, I want to test this construction battalion in the in, in the context of the realistic mode because of course in in the video where I did the overview I just auto built everything also I got a little bit of feedback with respect to the gas stations which I also want to test out and I think this is the ideal mechanism to do it before we get into that i just want to give you a bit of an update of what i've done since the end of the last video what i've done is i put a small water well in here because it's next to this power substation which we're going to try and get built here and the other thing also is there should eventually be some uh, snow plows coming into here and of course because winter's coming and if we don't keep the roads clear this pace of building things is going to get very well slow it's probably the polite way of saying it what next thing I want to do is kind of remove some of these buildings. Uh, remove the small shopping center. I want to leave that substation in. The roads can be built. I've lined up a few roads to keep the road crews busy. Uh, I think we're going to suspend the warehouse as well. Because what I want to do through the winter is focus very much on this construction camp. Although, to be honest, I've got not exactly too sure. My instinct is to build it in here, but I've, I don't want to go into this area because that's where my construction office is. And the problem is I've got no real sense of, of how big this camp will be. I think if we put a road through here to here and then and that would create a kind of a, a common residential area and i think probably that we might as well start with the sewage disposal it's just so what i'm going to do is keep the game on pause so that i can try out some of these bits and pieces it's probably a good bit here and will that fit in there because of course I can't level this far out. Right, that's actually gone in. Right, good. I think we're a road across the there. Oh no, 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 no game. Too steep an incline. Sometimes if you Yeah, we just if I get that out a little bit and then hook that in there the game can be a little bit tetchy sometimes when the road's nearby so we got that there what I'm thinking is to get a workforce in this area say of three or four hundred and the idea is is this workforce will then mean that we won't have to use the foreign workers and we'll be able to get our own workforce down here and 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 I think three or four hundred should be enough simply because um, the buildings for the work camp don't require much staff because it's intended to be very small. So I think the first thing we're going to do is come in here. I'll put the residential stuff in first. Residential isn't free. I think if I we put in maybe one, two, three along here. And then maybe we'll put a couple of small ones. That's that's three hundred. This will give me. If I space them out. I'll put them just there. That'll give me four hundred. I think four hundred should be enough. Oops. And then we'll I'll put you there. Just hook you up there but we need to connect this through and again it's all going to be all mud 
footpaths because it's going to be a temporary accommodation. So, uh, um, I think if we put that there, this through, kind of build this little center up here. Actually, I just had a thought. I don't know why it keeps going to get citizens. I thought I'd turn this off. But I certainly don't want the citizens coming in. Because this could either be built very quickly or very slowly. Uh, we'll just trim that off there. Now, so we've got this area here. Let's just put some of the other buildings in. What do we need? We need a shop. Take a road out. This is a, actually if we put a road across. Also got power lines here. That's about to say. Put a road across to there to there. And then we'll put and of course the shops. We're gonna use the the green ones. And the idea of the green ones is these are a single purchase construction camp. This is the, I've, and I've finally got my head around the idea. These aren't really free. I think as I put in the, on, as an, on the comments of the video, they require a, a small number of work days, but they don't take resources. And I think the idea behind the green ones is that these are the representation if you want to build a single construction camp. So we're going to put what we're we building here we're going to put this one on this side and then we'll put this one on this side and actually i'm just going to rename these because the buildings look so familiar not food Um, uh, uh, clothes. Oops, can't spell clothes. We do need a. I think we're going to think a little bit about power. Now we're going to get the power for the water um, pump from here when that's built. So I think if we go to power generation now. Does this, does this produce pollution? It must produce some pollution. Doesn't say, but it needs fuel. Now we've got to bring fuel in. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the power power plant up here. And it, I know it's close to the substation, so it kind of, in a way, it kind of fits together and again we're just going to rename this our plant now the next thing we need to do is we've got our uh, what we call it here pump a well sorry not pump and what we're going to need is a water treatment plant we need to get it it's got to be within range of these because oh, this actually this one's got a pipe on it an output pipe i'm sure the other one doesn't so this one's actually got an output pipe if we could then well probably wouldn't have enough water out of this area anyway i think uh, we should be able to walk to here shouldn't they so uh Put the water water treatment like that. Then what we'll do is we'll put the water substation that's the actual this is the water pickup point what's this and that's the actual storage it's the well is it 
And we're, we're going to put a subs water substation in. And we're going to get... I'm not sure if we get coverage directly from there. But I think if we put the substation, water substation in say about here, we go that far. So if we put the water substation in just about here, we'll put the water substation. And what that means is we'll be able to tanker up the water from here, put it into there, and then we can put the water in the substation to distribute around there. Uh, now, obviously, this is a little fair distance away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Uh, I think it's the car. Is it the cargo station? I can't remember where it is now. Let's not that, not that. It's this one. I think this is unidirectional, so we gotta put it there. And you can come around to there like that. And then right opposite that we will put the technical office, technical services. This is, we're going to get you there. But what this will do is we'll put in some uh, sewage trucks in there and then we'll put a truck there and then that will take it all the way down to here, which means that we only need a couple of sewage trucks running around here, bringing it down to this area here. Now the next thing I want to put in is a gas station because someone very kindly posted a comment to explain how the gas station actually works and i and i think i understand it so we've got a gas station here now what you got to remember is this gas station has got an, an, an in and an out in it and what we're going to do is put the gas station about here like that and I think what we'll do is just going to get the crews working on we need that built that built so I want to build the gas station to start with we're going to work towards the residences just let the game run slowly so we got yeah, the way the gas station works is because I actually uh, pointed out in here. Where is it? Is it the gas station? It says 0 0.1 and then and this one's 0 0.1. And what someone said is what you actually do is you park trucks in here, which act as the fuel depository. So it's actually meant to be 0 0.1. So that is good. So we've now got. This is the water substation. We'll add that to the job as well. Get that done. Then what we got need to do now is put in some education. Uh, so we need a school, a kindergarten. So I'm kind of liking the idea of we could put get it in very close they can walk through to get the school in change it ah. I know what it is get the school or get the kindergarten in kindergarten
and then we'll just tuck in the university as well to get University in here. Right, city. Right, so we got two shops. We got education. We've got water. We got the power plant here. Next thing we're um, I put a fire station in. <laughs> we put the, the gas station in. Um. Trying to work through this in order. Right, we need a cinema. Um, um, I think we have all the kind of main utilities here. I'll we'll put the cinema in here. You know, and then we need the sports grounds, which won't be particularly much use. Is um, oh, still on that, want that. I think we can probably put the sports ground just here on the corner. I think that's going to be self explanatory, so I don't need to name that. We got so we got the cinema, we got the sports ground. Anything else that we need to, uh, yeah, we can put the pub in. We might as well go for the full on alcohol experience. So we'll put the pub here, cause a bit of trouble. Because one reason I'm putting in all these facilities, I'm just going to be very curious to find out how well this actually runs as a, an organization. So we've now got that in anything. We need a broadcasting, I'm going to get the whole nine yards. And again, we'll just tuck that on just on this corner here. We'll just call it radio. Now we better get to the darker side of society. Um, secret police. I can find you. There we are, secret police. Okay, there's no green option for this. This is what you could say is the advanced part of the community. So um, we'll put the secret police there. So this one's actually going to need resources, but that's not that's not too big a problem. So we'll put the secret police in. Oops. So, so what they're so what they're pointing at is the fact that not everything is kind of essential. Let's speed the go up now. We've got secret police. Let's have a look at the. We haven't put the ordinary police in, have we? Police station. So obviously they regard the police station as part of the. Uh, main organization so we're put that in because we put the police station in we're going to need a courthouse and a prison actually it's turning into be quite a compact unit it's comparable in size with this down here and consider we're putting everything in so the courthouse is not regard so the police station is regarded as um, single base, but not the courthouse. I think we'll put the courthouse up here. So, here the courthouse. Oops. That just means we need the prison now. We can put the prison directly opposite the police station. Up. Ah, ah. okay, we're gonna have to let the. Don't really want to do any leveling, so 
I come here. I think we're going to need to bring a substation down. I've gone a lot further south than I thought I would. So, but in some ways, that's not such a bad thing because uh, it will mean that we can uh, put a substation in and see how that works as well. I think for fun, we'll put in the orphanage as well, which actually looks more like a prison than the prison but uh, maybe life is bleak uh, the only thing I can't remember is did I put a hospital in I don't think I put oh, we sh what we should be able to do is thousand meters hospital It's only telling me that there's only a hospital over there. We don't have a hospital in the... We need to put a hospital in. Where can we put a hospital? We've got a little bit of a space there. That's a hostel. It, quite strangely, they've got this hostel. Again, it looks a bit like a prison camp, but... I'm assuming that's attached to the university. I don't know whether it would work as a supplementary uh, accommodation. Get the hospital tucked in there. Over a little bit like that. Hospital... I think what we do need to now is to get, we'd like to get going up to there, into there, all of that just made it. On you up to there, you to there, you to there. Probably run you down to there. And um, there's something built here, so I can't pull that. So I think we're looking good now. All we got to do is turn this into reality. <laughs> um, right, let's see what. Now, I, I don't want to overload too much. So, uh, I'm just going to let this run now and see how things go i've deliberately loaded up the gravel roads here because of course there's these they're in theory except for the few buildings that aren't first what we should be needing to get just into here is workers that's the reason why i've turned off all the other buildings but um we'll just have to see how it goes and where are you going and this is what i want to find out is Circle unfinished. Okay. Where are thou going? It's a road. He's obviously decided to come through here. One thing I haven't put in here is a bus stop, is it? If we're going to build this, we're going to need a bus pickup point. Okay, bus stop, bus stop. Where is it? I can never remember which one. It's platform station. I've got to be a bit careful because see where it says here, 100 passengers. That's the heliport. We certainly don't want that. Um, 40 passengers, 50. Uh, no, I think what we're, we're going to go here is we're going to go for... We're going to put a free bus stop in here, just parallel to this road. And then you can come up and just hook up there. Actually, now I've put a bus stop in. I want to do a little bit of an experiment. Just out of curiosity. Where's the road depot? There's the road depot. Right, we're going to buy a bus. Um, 
60 passengers capacity goes 90 kilometers an hour it's absolutely dirt cheap but one that's seven yeah we got a nice cheap gas wherever it is here comes the snow now this now this is very much an experiment but i'm just curious always is that the gas obviously i don't think the new vehicles come out of here as and sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell whether you've actually bought something or not purchase vehicles no didn't i buy it okay we'll just see if they turn up in the And for some reason, this is not giving me my miracles. Okay. Is that because I clicked on the wrong? All right, what we're going to do is try and buy it another way. I'm getting impatient. that worked of course he's got to go and get some fuel now the experiment I want to do is come in here to pick up workers And we're going to. Where do I put the bus stop? You're just going to unload workers here. We're just going to follow him. Right, we've got 10 workers. They're now going to come over here. Because in theory, because I'm building, got this construction area here that just needs work, some workers like this. But by saying, but we can't allocate that. So if we. And so what I'm doing is kind of assisting the construction office because these are only workers only. You can see by doing this with <laughs> road grain just turned up. <laughs> oh, that didn't take long to build, did it? We got a tower grain here now. Oh, well, I think we're just going to let that run for the moment. Now we got our, got our fuel depot here. Now, what we should be able to do I'm gonna never go at buying a oil tank from here we're gonna need something with a fair amount of capacity that's gonna be painful but so we're gonna get you in Oops, of course he's got to go off and get some fuel. Now the reason I bought a large capacity for this other gas station to work properly, we're going to need a fair amount of um, fuel capacity. So let's see if this will work. Uh, I, I know there's a good chance I'm going to run out of money, but the whole idea of this is an experiment. Unload fuel, wait until unloaded. Right, we've got the food shop. 
belts. Uh, make sure. Oh, so, right, we'll just cut it to do the next tier down like that. What are we doing over here? Whoops. That's now finished. We've now got power to here. So we're, right, we now need a distribution office because we need to get food and stuff into that. I think what we'll do is we'll put the distribution office up here. We'll use the the in-game ones. But a free tidy this up a bit. Like that. We'll just put that distribution office there. And what we're going to need is a couple of cupboard holes here. And what's the capacity of these shops? Three tons, one ton of meat. Three tons, two tons. So we we don't need a big one. Well, let's start with the oops. Let's start with the easy bit, easy one. I have a refrigeration truck. Now, I'm pretty sure these have only got one offload point, so we can't use the old dodge of just uh, parking a refrigerator truck there because it won't work. And it's only, was it one ton of meat? There's no point getting a truck any bigger than, that can carry more than, if we start from here, this is 0.75 tons of meat. I think that would be, it's nice and cheap as well we can get you there and then we want uh, a couple of covered holes okay we're just sort by capacity this is 0.32 tons this is 0.8 this is 0.75 we could do with something a little bit bigger than that one ton because i've got so many trucks here uh, let me just see Right, we've got gas 51 here this can carry 1.5 right we're gonna get two of those the game is stealing to try trucks um we're not getting them are we i'm spending money am i actually buying those trucks or is the game kind of telling me that it's buying them and not it says i've imported fifteen thousand in but the trucks are not coming okay game I'm sure they were doing it before because you should be able to pull them directly into a distribution office. Doesn't make sense. Let me just see refrigeration. We're just going to have to do this again. I can't remember which one I bought now. Um, it was one with 0.75 tons of meat. There it is there. It's got a top speed of 42. That's a bit slow. 1.5, 2.3. Oh. Okay. There it is here. We got this one here. And we're by the cupboard holes. What was the one on cupboard holes I bought? It was the, it was the Gaz 51, wasn't it? Or was the Gaz AA? Um, it's the gas 51s. We'll get a couple of gas 51s. This is where it's almost like it doesn't like the free ones. Anyway, we've got the trucks. We should have the trucks now. You get there. I think for them for now on, I'm just going to buy um, trucks at the border and send them to where they want to go.
We'll just get you there. He's used up a bit of fuel, so somebody must be coming in here picking fuel up. Um, oh, of course, you're going to need chemicals as well, aren't you? And you're going to need fuel, so we need to hook you to there. And we'll put 100% fuel on that. Might need another fuel tanker here. Hospital's going to need a one of these. What's the cheapest one we got? That's a thousand. It's a hundred kilometers an hour, but it's the cheapest. What's it? It's value. What's the cheapest one we got here? Um, we'll get ourselves a vintage vehicle. So we get you in. Again, it's not. Okay. There's something definitely not working here. I mean, it was working. Ambulance, cheapest one, not cheapest chips on the block. Um, where was it? You carrying workers? Yep. Well, the fuel's been used. The interesting thing will be what happens if, um, if this when this tanker goes back to get more fuel. Um, right. So we got the hospital. We've got fuel. We need to sort out the chemical situation now. What's the storage for chemicals there? Oh, this also needs fuel as well. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna add you 100%. I think we're definitely gonna. Right, we've got trucks sat here doing nothing. Um, that's built. I feel I'm wasting time. Um, which I could be using to do other things. Right. I'm just going to give him one building. And. Uh, can I. Hard to tell. If I. I put a mud road. Up to there. To there. Just, what we'll do is just use the winter to fill in some of these gaps. Right, back to chemicals. These guys are covered, aren't they? Okay. You, you're going to load. Um. You won't chemicals hundred percent. Um food and I think we'll go the whole hog and go electronics. We may need to adjust this later on. That should get chemicals into there. Um, feel I need a second um, oil tanker 
So, uh, buy another wheel tanker. You can go to... Yeah. Yeah, how far can you walk? Okay, you can walk that far. Right, he's actually coming in for a refuel. Right, pause. Let's just see if this... Just to confirm, it is working. A very tiny amount of fuel. I mean, I'm assuming that you could have two trucks in here doing stuff, but um, we certainly uh, need this high priority. Um, it's because we don't get this built, we got no water supply. We got now. It, we did have a bit of a power problem, didn't we? We're going to need to put a substation in down here. Um, substation, substation. Um, is it power? It's not power transformer. Power substation. Now this is the one that's got a very small hole on it and you can barely see it um we could put it in the center here to save a bit of distance with the power supply but then we yeah i mean we could put that in the center we're not going to make this go any further are we so drop you in there and then You to there, to there. Except that. You to build that. And that. Right, we've now got this built. We've now got our distribution office here. What we should be able to do is you to there, to there. We're going to need a sewage truck or several sewage trucks. So, um, do do do. We're going to need a fairly big one so that we're not running down to the disposal thing there. So, your job is well, we're going to have to send you. We can't set a route up directly from here, can we? No, we've got to send you to the depot. Actually, we've got to send them all to the... Oh, we haven't. And then the other sewage truck, we want small ones. Cheaper the better. Um, capacity, the smallest you've got. 1.2, 2.2, right. We're going to pick up. One, two, three of those. And your job is going to go to be to go to this technical office here. Like this. So the idea is is the one that goes into could be in the depot now your job is going to be to pick up from here wait until unloaded and then has this been built yet building not finished okay ah, ha, ha. well 
um, got all about this sticky little thing down here. Can't even see it. Where is it? I mean, this is going to be one of uh, the fun elements of building these sewage outfalls. I think this is the one, is it? Right, we need that built. Yeah, I mean, I mean, especially if you've got a sewage out for a long way away in the middle of nowhere, getting the construction trucks out to get it to finish it is going to be quite um, interesting. Right, you've got the chemicals. This is not, this needs to be finished. Um, I wonder if I'm, my messing about is actually... Oh no, we've got loads of foreign workers in here. We just need the, the ability to clear the snow. Right, we've got... Um, right, we've got... Technically, we've got power. We've got education. We've got that. The only thing we haven't... Have we got food yet? No. Food, clothes, chemicals. Got to do that. We've got the meat truck. Right. Yep, I've got to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm just so out of practice with these basics. Uh, I think playing the Seven Crosses series for so long has been a uh, it's been a useful experience, but it's got me into some bad habits, and I've got it. So now, this fuel depot is got no, no fuel truck on it. So what's happening now is they're all going to this way. This setup either needs two fuel trucks or, or it needs a very very least it needs another um, backup gas station for this to work be reliable because when the truck isn't here no one's actually going to come in and pick up fuel. Interesting to know. The good thing is that it works with no power supply. So, so when the truck so here comes the fuel truck again as soon as he comes and parks in here again I'm assuming that you could have multiple trucks in here but the problem is um, I mean could you um, out of curiosity I mean you whoops where is it you can assign a distribution truck here but there's not much point in doing that because the distribution truck will come here fill this up with 0 0.1 tons of of fuel and then leave it won't it won't stay there and i think that's the key factor and i think that's the mistake i made with the water distribution thingy bob that uh what was actually happening was where if you've got the opposite way like this sewage plant here you can park a truck there and then it will go away and come back again um can't even see with the white here Right, that's now being built. Luigi truck, where are you? I thought I bought a sewage truck. Where did you go? Oh no, you're in the... Sorry, wrong place. So, you come here. Wait, load, wait until fully loaded. And then your job will be to come down here. Up, clear everything so I can make sure this is set up properly. You're going to go wait until loaded. And then down here, just unload. Okay. And I'm just going to cut you loose.
So what that's going to do is the truck will come here and park. These guys will go around and collect the sewage from the little village here or town or construction uh, crew. Fill the, the sewage truck up and then the sewage truck will um, the 10 tons will be shipped down to here. So it means that we won't have these little trucks running all backwards and forwards in this area. I actually quite like the idea of this system is I think I might be tempted just to when I'm building is to actually use this if it works fairly successfully. Okay, we've got an issue with bricks. I'm a bit annoyed that we've got all these excavators sat around doing nothing. Okay guys, welcome back. What's happened is the game crashed, which means I've lost all the progress. So and I'm aware that I'm probably getting a bit long on this video. So what I'm going to do is, this is where I'm going to call it. And what I'll do is I'll rebuild all this in uh, off camera. And we'll pick up once the snow is gone in March. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.